<clears throat> hey everybody, I'm back with a new video for you this week. Um, it's been a bit, but I'm back, and today I'm doing a, another review video, uh, and I'm excited about this one. Um, after a long wait, uh, <laughs> I've been patiently waiting for this, um, Pandemic has been shipped out to its backers. Uh, Pandemic is a, a comic, uh, is crowdfunded, uh, by Richard C. Meyer, uh, and, uh, let's see. It's written by Richard C. Meyer, and the liner is by Renzo Rodriguez, um, and I've been looking forward to this for some time now. Uh, I believe it was announced back in early spring, uh, March or April, I believe. I'm trying to remember, but, um, it's finally out. It was, uh, shipped out to its backers this month, and, uh, yeah. So, this is my review of Pandemic, and, uh, yeah, so to start off with, uh, I review... My uh, my reviews I based them off of three things off of uh, off of uh, dialogue and off of writing and off of art and um, yeah so to start with uh, story wise uh, this is a very interesting story uh, uh, interesting idea that uh, Richard C Meyer came up with um, and this is kind of based off of what's been happening. Uh, this year with the whole pandemic um, and it just kind of uh, takes what's happening in the real world right now and basically it goes with this idea that um, there are people who run the world and they're using this pandemic to basically um, control people in a way, uh, and control, control countries, governments, uh, economies, etc. And this, uh, girl, this, this woman here, um, who is looting during this pandemic, uh, happens to accidentally hear, um, these powerful men meeting, uh, about this whole pandemic. Um, so yeah, the story was, it, I'll be honest, it was a bit weaker than I was expecting. Uh, I think I overhyped the story, uh, for myself, because when I, uh, I read it, I was, this, this felt very short. I read it in 10, 15 minutes, uh, and it's, it's a normal floppy size comic book um, that you would buy at a comic book shop. Um, but I read through it very fast, and um, so the st like, and I feel like the story was just getting started right as soon as I finished it. Um, yeah, by by the end of the book, it was like, oh, I thought this was just getting started, um, and it says it. I believe it says it should be to be continued at the end, um, and uh, yeah, I hope there's more of this story because uh, <laughs> it was a lot shorter than I expected and uh, uh, not as much there as I thought there was going to be. So the story was good, but it was just uh, less uh, than I thought it was going to be. Um, and as for uh, dialogue. The dialogue is really good. It's, uh, it's not lazy. Um, it's not, uh, too corny. It's, um, it's, it's realistic. It's a, you know, there's not too much, um, not too much talking. There's a lot of action in this book, and there's not a lot of need for talking. Um, there probably could have been maybe a little bit of a little bit of some what, what would you call it narration or like a little bit more of a thought process that we're reading from uh, the protagonist um, 
but overall the the writing was really good for the dialogue um clever and realistic um so yeah and then as for art this art is really good really great art and um it's <laughs> this this art is way better than many of the marvel comics that have been put out in the past years now there are a lot of marvel comics that have art that's way better than this but there are but <laughs> there are marvel comic books that have just terrible art this this is some really great art um it's not really my favorite type of style it's very uh just a very realistic comic book look um some of this almost reminds me of uh i don't know like um seeing that there made me think of like a rob liefeld uh style um but uh it's it's just a re it's it's some really great art some very good action uh, it flows very well. I wasn't confused with any of the panels. Um, and yeah, so overall, uh, <laughs> this was a really, really good book. And oh, and this cover. I love this cover. This cover uh, is just, it's fantastic. You got this, um, she's, you can tell she's in trouble. She's been caught based on these silhouettes behind the shadows behind her um they've discovered her and she's in trouble um and this is so great at the top so and i love the way they wrote pandemic on here so you look at it from a distance it's panic um but you look closer and it's pandemic and then this up here this is one problem she can't wash her hands of uh, that that is gold that is great and then your world now and that's just a it's it's a fantastic cover i love this cover so much um but yeah so this so for my rating uh story wise i would give it a uh seven out of ten it's a really good uh premise and really good uh idea but I felt like it was just getting started right as it ended, and I hope there is more of this to come. Uh, I hope the story continues. Um, and uh, as for the dialogue, really great dialogue. Maybe could have used a little bit more of it since I read through it so quickly, but um, overall it was really good dialogue for what was there, and I would give the dialogue a 9 out of 10. Uh, and as for the art, very great art um it's the perfect comic book art it's it's the basic american comic book art so i would give this art a nine out of ten um and uh yeah so that's my review so that i guess that would ratio out um probably about a nine or an eight out of ten overall on this uh really great um and I will be looking forward to more from Meyer on his uh, uh, channel. And um, if you don't know who Richard C. Meyer is, he has a couple YouTube channels. His main channel that I uh, follow daily and watch his videos daily is uh, um, Comics Matter with your boy Zach. And that's what he's better known for, at least better I know who he is by the name your boy Zach um I w until this comic came out and I actually read his actual name on here I really couldn't remember or didn't know his actual name or author author title I should say um but yeah and uh unfortunately this isn't something as of right now this is not something that you can go out and buy like I said this is a crowdfunded book uh, what that means is, um, this guy Meyer had an idea, um, hired some people to help him out and create this comic, um, and gained support on, uh, crowdfunding websites, um, 
and uh, basically the people who paid money for it got it in the mail and um, that's what this is and I just uh, uh, crowdfunded comic books are on the rise right now um, it's looking like it'll be the future of comics with the way the uh, ind the the comic book industry is going right now it's kind of going into the tanks it has gone <laughs> um, it's gone to the dogs but um, anyway uh, crowdfunding comics are on the rise and I, I just love the idea of crowdfunding comics because it just uh, anyone out there could, if they have a great idea and the ability to make it happen and if they can get the support for it they can uh, they can make some really great stuff and share it with the world and get paid to do it so and that's kind of a dream I have of doing one day here um I've continued work on my own comic I don't know if and when I'll finish it uh, I gotta tell myself, I'm going to finish, I'm gonna get it done, it's gonna happen, um, cause it's, I'm never gonna get to this if I don't start with this, um, so anyway, um, that's my review of Pandemic, um, Mr. Meyer, your boy Zach, keep it up, uh, keep writing comics like this, um, and please continue this story, uh, cause I want to know more about this character and what on earth was with that ending because um, that was the one thing at the end I was a little bit like whoa wait where is where is this going I'm a little bit confused not quite what I was expecting but I loved it uh, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll have more um, reviews and more art drawing videos um, coming up uh, in the coming weeks here. Uh, thanks, and until next time, adios.